Hello everyone, welcome back to Suleikha Physics Classes. Hope you all are doing well. Today I am going to discuss about applications of dimensional analysis. In the previous video, we already discussed about dimension and how you write uh, dimensions of different physical quantities. And one more thing, principle of homogeneity. You must remember principle of homogeneity. According to that principle, uh, two quantities can be added or subtracted only if both have same dimension. And two quantities are equal only if both have same dimension. So we have to use that principle also when we discuss about applications of dimensional analysis. Right? Let us start now. Applications of dimensional analysis. There are three applications we already discussed. First one is to check correctness of a given formula. Second one is what? To convert one system of unit into another system. And third one is uh, to find a relation between various physical quantities. So first, let us, how you check correctness of a given formula using dimensional analysis. Suppose one formula is given V equal to U plus A T. You know this formula is correct. You already know about equation of motion. But how you uh, check whether this formula is correct or not dimensionally. So you have to apply principle of homogeneity. According to that principle, two quantities can only be added or subtracted if both have same dimension and two quantities are equal only if both have same dimension. So here, if the dimensions of different terms on left and right hand side are equal, then you can say that the given equation is correct. So let us check it. V equal to U plus AT. What is dimension of V? You know LT minus 1 equal to U. Dimension of U is also LT minus 1 plus AT. What is dimension of acceleration? LT minus 2. And dimension of T is capital T. So this T power 1 and minus 2, it becomes minus 1. You multiply these two, right now. So this also becomes LT minus 1. This term has also dimension LT minus 1. And this term has also dimension LT minus 1. Hence, according to principle of homogeneity, all terms have same dimension. So this equation is dimensionally correct. In this way, you have to check whether the equation is correct or not. Let us check it. Second equation, V square minus U square equal to 2AS. So you know again, dimension formula of V is what? LT minus 1, then a square is there. It means L square T minus 2. Minus, again U square is L square T minus 2 equal to 2. 2 is a constant and constant is dimension. There is no dimension of 2. Now A into S, dimension of acceleration is LT minus 2. And dimension of S is L. Again, this 1L and 1L multiply, it becomes L square, T minus 2. Here again, dimension of all the terms, this one, this one and this one, left hand side, right hand side are equal. It means the equation is dimensionally correct. So, with the help of dimensional analysis, you can check whether the equation is correct or not. Okay, one more. S equal to UT plus half AT square. You know dimension of S is L. Dimension of U into T. U is what? LT minus 1 and T, T only. When you calculate it, this T minus 1 and T cancel. It only becomes L. So dimension of U into T is also L. AT square. A is what? LT minus 2. And dimension of T square. T is what? T, T square is T square. Again, this T minus 2, T square cancel, it becomes L. So here again, dimension of each term, left hand side, right hand side, each term have same dimension right now. So this equation is also correct. And one question always comes in board exams. This topic is very, very important, applications of dimensional analysis. Okay, one more example. T equal to 2 pi root over L by G. T is time period, L is length of the string and G is acceleration due to gravity. You know time period of pendulum. Right now, here again left hand side is time and dimension of this time is capital T. Right hand side, this 2 pi is constant. 2 pi is what? 2 pi is constant and it is dimensionless. Right? 
Now only right hand side root over L by G. So root over dimension of L is what? L and G is acceleration due to gravity. So L T minus 2. Again L L cancel and in the denominator only T minus 2. When it comes in the numerator it becomes T square. So under root T square is again L. So here again dimension of left hand side is T and dimension of right hand side is also T. It means the equation is dimensionally correct. In this way, with the help of dimensional analysis, we can easily check whether the given formula or equation is correct or not. So, this is first application. Please take a screenshot. Now, next application is to derive relation between various physical quantities. If you know uh, on which factor a given physical quantity depends, then you can easily find the formula for that physical quantity using dimensional analysis. How? Suppose the time period T of a pendulum depends on mass of the bob, length of the bob and acceleration due to gravity. It is given in the question that time period T depends on mass, length and acceleration due to gravity. Now using dimensional analysis, you have to find formula of time period. How you find? Okay. First you just write this time period T depends on mass but how much time mass is used how much time length is used how much time acceleration due to gravity is used in that formula you don't know so you just take power as a b and c so here time is proportional to m to the power a it is also proportional to l so l to the power b and also acceleration due to gravity g g to the power c you don't know a b c you have to calculate the value of a b c using dimension analysis and then after that you get the formula of time period you remove this proportionally constant you write here k k is a constant it can take any value its value is fine experimentally right t is 2 pi right okay <coughs> m to the power a, l to the power b, g to the power c. Now you write the dimensions of all the terms on both sides. Here dimension of t is what? t. k. k is dimension is constant. Dimension of mass is capital M to the power a. Dimension of l is capital L to the power b. And dimension of g is acceleration due to gravity. Acceleration is l t to the power minus 2 to the power c. Now you write you take all m to one side, l and t to one side. m, here m is alone, so m to the power a. Here l to the power b and here l to the power c. So you multiply these two, you get l to the power. Power must be added in case of multiplication. So b plus c. And t to the power minus 2 to the power c. Now according to principle of homogeneity, dimension of all the terms of left hand side must be equal dimension of all the terms of right hand side right so here only t is there m and l is what zero you just write m to the power zero and l to the power zero now you compare dimension of both sides here is m to the power zero here is m to the power a it means a equal to zero here l is b plus c here l to the power zero it means b plus c is zero and third t to the power minus 2c so minus 2c here t to the power 1 now, right so minus 2c is 1 here you get c equal to minus 1 by 2 and b plus c is 0 you just put this value c here you get b equal to minus c equal to 1 by 2 in this way you find the value of a b and c right you just put these values in this equation equation number 1 and write here 1 or in this one right so t equal to k m to the power a so m to the power a is what zero l to the power b l to the power b is what one by two and g to the power c g is what minus one by two so this equal to t equal to k m to the power zero is what one right now l to the power one by two means you write under root l and g to the power minus 1 by 2, you write 1 by under root g. So, here you can write t equal to k. This term becomes 1 under root l. l to the power 1 by 2 means under root l. 
and here minus i it comes in the denominator by root g. So this is the formula for time period of a simple pendulum and you are fine using this dimensional analysis. In this way you can find formula for any physical quantity if you know on which factor that physical quantity depends, right? So, hope you understood this one. Okay, I have written one more question here. Velocity of sound depends on elasticity of medium, capital E, and density of medium, capital D. Find formula for velocity of sound. Like first question, in the same way you can solve this one also. Here, okay, I am just giving you some hints. You just solve it by yourself and write answers in the comment box. This V is proportional to elasticity of the medium, you take power A and density of the medium, you take power B, right? So, you know the dimension of V is what? The dimension of V is LT minus 1. Dimension of elasticity, what is elasticity? A stress by, a strain. this is a new term for you. But still you have to remember this one. A stress by a strain. A stress is force per unit area. And a strain is change in length per unit length. Change in area per unit area. Change in volume per unit volume. So in all cases, this strain is dimensionless constant. Dimensionless variable right now. So just uh, elasticity is force per unit area. And find right dimension of elasticity. I am just giving you some hint. Force is what? M L T minus 2 and denominator L square. You take this L square in the numerator, it becomes M L to the power 1 and minus 2 is 1 minus 2 is minus 1 and T to the power minus 2, right? And this density, dimension of density is what? Mass per unit. Volume, it means m l to the power minus 3. So, if you know the dimension of all these terms, you can easily find the formula. And you must solve this question and write answer in the comment box. I am waiting for the answers of this question number 2. Right? Please take a screenshot of this one. Then we will move to the third application. Now, third application is to convert one system of units into another. If you want to convert any physical quantity from one system of units into another system of units using dimensional analysis. How you convert this one, right? So, first thing you must know that any physical quantity, how you represent any physical quantity, we already discussed about these things, magnitude, then units. You must write units also. Suppose the length of this marker is 1 meter, 1 centimeter, whatever it is. So, there is a magnitude and there is a unit. So, any physical quantity is represented. L represents magnitude and U represents unit. And if you change, suppose any physical quantity is of 1 meter. If you convert it into centimeter, it becomes 100 centimeter. But the physical quantity remains same. If you convert from one system into another system, then the magnitude changes. If you convert the system meter into centimeter, this one becomes 100. But the physical quantity remains changed. It means the product of N and U is always constant. Physical quantity does not change. It always remains unchanged if you convert from one system of into into another system. So using this concept, you have to convert one system of into units into another. For example, so, if nu is constant, it means n1 u1 equal to n2 u2. This is one system and this one is another system. For example, if you want to convert 1 meter into how many centimeter? You know 100 centimeter, but using this dimensional analysis, how you convert? 1 newton equal to how many time? 1 joule equal to how many R? So, using this dimensional analysis, you can easily convert one system into another system. I am taking one example. This one, convert 1 Newton into dyne. How many dynes, right? So, first of all, this Newton is what? SI unit of force. You just recognize it. This Newton is SI unit of force, right? And this dyne is CGS unit of force. So, this one is uh, in system 1. 
you write u1 and this is system 2 you convert into cgs system u2 right and you know this newton is what unit of force now so what is the emission formula for force m into a so m l t to the power minus 2 this is the dimensional formula for force so you can easily if you know all these things this newton is si unit of force this dyne is cgs system of force what is dimensional formula of force then you can calculate very easily here you take this one newton as n1 u1 right so n1 is what one and this second system dyne how many dyes n2 you have to calculate dyne is u2 right so u1 becomes what in the first system you take mass as m1 length as l1 and time as t1 right but the physical quantity is force so in first system m1 to the power 1 l1 to the power 1 t1 to the power minus 2 time has power minus 2 so you take u1 t1 to the power minus 2 in the same way in second system uh, you take m2 l2 and t2 but force is here so m2 l2 and t2 has power minus 2 so t to the power minus 2 this is si unit m1 l1 m1 is in kg l1 is in meter and time is in second and here in second system m2 is in gram l2 is in centimeter and time is in second so in this way now using this one l1 u1 equal to n2 u2 here you have to calculate n2 how many dyes so n2 equal to n1 u1 by u2 n1 is 1 u1 is m1 l1 t1 to the power minus 2 and u2 is m2 l2 t to the power minus 2 now here m1 is in kg yeah? so you write m1 by m2 separate separate all these terms l1 by l2 t1 by t to the minus 2 here m1 is in kg and m2 is in gram l1 is in meter l2 is in centimeter t1 is in second and t2 is also in second so this second second calcium now you convert this kg into gram so 1 kg 1000 gram and this gram gram calcium 1 meter how many centimeter 100 centimeter this this calcium becomes only 100 so 1000 into 100 is 10 to the power 5 so you get the value of n2 equal to 10 to the power 5 in this way 1 newton equal to 10 to the power 5 dyne so with the help of dimensional analysis you can convert one system of units into another system next in the same way you can convert one joule into how many erg you know joule is the si unit of work and erg is the cgs unit of work so you have to convert this si unit into cgs unit with the help of dimensional analysis try to convert this one and please solve it and write answer in the chat box okay i am waiting pause the video first okay hope you solve this one in one joule how many are in one joule 10 to the power 7 are right so hope you understood this one how to solve uh, to convert one system of units into another using dimensional analysis with this i am going to end the class hope you understood all these topics right so keep revising and stay tuned with this channel thank you